issues, I know we're better off because President Obama made the decisions he did. Now, <clears throat> that brings me to health care. And the Republicans call it derisively Obamacare. They say it's a government takeover, a disaster, and that if we'll just elect them, they'll repeal it. Well, are they right? No. Let's take a look at what's actually happened so far. First, individuals and businesses have already gotten more than a billion dollars in refunds from insurance companies because the new law requires 80 to 85 percent of your premium to go to your health care, not profits or promotion. And The gains are even greater than that because a bunch of insurance companies have applied to lower their rates to comply with the requirement. Second, more than three million young people between 19 and 25 are insured for the first time because their parents' policies can cover them. Third, millions of seniors are receiving preventive care all the way from breast cancer screenings to tests for heart problems and scores of other things. And younger people are getting them too. Fourth, soon the insurance companies, not the government, the insurance companies will have millions of new customers, many of them middle class people with pre existing conditions who never could get insurance before. Now, finally, listen to this. For the last two years, after going up at three times the rate of inflation for a decade, for the last two years, health care costs have been under 4% in both years for the first time in 50 years. So, let me ask you something. Are we better off because President Obama fought for health care reform? You bet we are.